Hey riders, welcome to another video in our Adventure Motorcycle Gear Review Series. I'm Eric Lang with Ride Adventures and I've been riding a wide variety of adventure bikes and tire options every time I come to pick your mom up for a date. Just kidding. Anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the Motaz Tractionator GPS and our extensive testing of it the past year. I think I can help you decide if this is the right adventure bike tire for you. So let's get into character. So factors like performance, longevity, durability, they're important across all tire types, but maybe particularly true in the adventure touring category, right? You need a tire that performs, one that's gonna be able to help you get over multiple terrains and remote territories. You need a tire that's got some longevity to it, especially if you're gonna be going into parts of the world where finding a replacement tire is not gonna be so easy, right? You have long distances out there between big cities sometimes. And then from a durability standpoint, again, over multiple terrains, you need a tire that's gonna hold up and not be subject to slices or sidewall punctures or things like that. And maybe above all of this, you need a tire that you can work with too. And if in case you're on your own in these remote territories, you need to be able to fix a flat, get it on and off the rim or whatever the situation might be. So for the past year or so, we've been testing this tire from our home base here in Oregon in the Pacific Northwest on down through California and down into Baja, Mexico. And I should mention that Motaz actually has a variety of models available. There's the Mountain Hybrid, there's the Tractionator Desert, which is more of an 80% off pavement type of a tire. But this is the 50-50 tire, the Motaz Tractionator GPS. It's a tire that actually comes with two tread pattern options in the rear that I'll come to explain in, in a moment here. But again, with great success, we've had great results with this tire. Now let's get into some of the finer features of it. So the first feature we'll talk about is the tread design and pattern. And I hope you can see this is a tire that's definitely meant for mixed terrains, right? You've got a lot of rubber there that's gonna make contact with the pavement when you're on such, but it's also got a lot of space in between these lugs. It's gonna help you grab onto dirt and rocks and gravel and such when you're in those situations. If you're ever struggling to figure out which tire is for you and whether a tread pattern is gonna be the right one for your situation, it sounds kind of weird, but imagine if this was your hand, just literally taking your hand and rolling it on the ground, on the rocks, on the sand, on the gravel, whatever you happen to be on. Somehow, to me anyway, that helps me visualize if I know where I'm going and I know what the terrain is gonna be like, I can just sort of imagine my hand like that pawing along just as this tire is gonna be and I can decide, is that the kind of tread pattern that's gonna be grabbing the surfaces that I want it to grab, so. On the sidewall here, that you'll see that they've listed this as a 50-50 tread pattern. That is rolling in the direction you see it, rolling towards you right here. But if you reverse this tire, it also explains on the sidewall that you have a mostly off-road tread pattern in this position. So the front tire always stays rolling in one direction, but the rear is reversible like this to again, maybe you can see that cupping action that's gonna be a little bit more likely to grab materials and rocks and gravel and such and help paw their way along for you as this tire rolls in this position. But so if you're, if you're gonna be mostly off-road, you might wanna be in this position. If you're gonna be mostly pavement or, or at least half pavement, go with the other direction. You have two options with this rear tire. Another feature you'll notice is this continuous center strip running down the center of the tire. And the main thing that's gonna do for you is add to the longevity, the life of the tire. It's gonna make sure it lasts a little bit longer for you because of course we do ultimately spend the bulk of our time on that center of the tire anyway. And this way you're not having to start with new leading edges of lugs every single time you're turning the tire around, all that heat and all that friction. Wearing down those leading edges like that, it gives you a smooth center strip to hold the tire together a bit longer for you. And that actually plays out in terms of performance too. It's gonna to give you a little bit more grip with rubber on the ground for pavement situations and when you're in that vertical riding position. But also because of that center strip, you don't have the vibration of every single lug starting a new contact with the ground. It cuts down the vibration and therefore the noise that you're gonna feel, which might not sound like much, but just every little bit of a vibration on a motorcycle adds up to fatigue and wear and tear. You know, you've got your engine. Do you have a smooth one or a rough, rough running single cylinder? Also your tires too. Do you have lugs being contacted every single split second like that? Or do you instead like this have a continuous center strip that's gonna feel a lot more smooth? So the Tractionator GPS is a hybrid compound made with silica and what seems to be a lot more natural rubber than some other tires out there in the market. Now, they don't disclose for us their exact formulas 
for how they make these tires. But you can kind of feel this when you're out riding and even with your naked hand like this on the tire. It does feel slightly more sticky and grippy like it does have a natural rubber to it. How does this compound stand against others in the market? Well, quick nod and thanks to Kyle Bradshaw for actually measuring this with a durometer and showing us that it's actually one of the hardest compounds in the market for adventure bike tires. That's a factor, of course, in terms of longevity. The harder a compound is, generally speaking, the longer it should last if you were to match all the tread patterns and use and things like that. But also being one of the harder tires on the list, uh, you have to consider what it's gonna be like if you ever need to take it off the wheel. If you're gonna be out there in remote territories, and if you've ever watched, worked with a hard, stiff carcass like this, you will know how important it is to have a third tire iron with you, possibly a second set of hands, and of course lubrication and plenty of things to help you get this thing on and off the rim. So one downside to a tire like this is that it is very stiff and hard to work with if you're ever on the side of the road needing to change it out. Of course, that also plays into a positive factor, the hardness of the compound being that it is likely a bit more resistant to punctures and flats and things like that. Speaking of how stiff this carcass is, it's actually made from a four ply nylon sidewall. And as of yet, we have not seen in thousands of miles any sidewall issues, any punctures, but uh, hopefully that's a good matching sidewall for a good overall strong and durable tire that's gonna get you through those situations I was talking about. Another thing we like about this tire is that the tread pattern is just slightly deeper than almost all the other adventure bike tires in this category. So that slightly extra 16th of an inch or so of tread pattern just adds up to tire longevity and life that you're gonna get. It's actually a traction factor too if you're in mud and sand and things like that. Having a slightly deeper tread pattern is gonna help you get through those. And the last feature I'll mention is that they actually ship this tire with cardboard into the bead like that because if you think about how how tires are being shipped and stored around the world, there's a lot of opportunity for them to be crushed while they're sitting in storage or transport. By having the cardboard shipped along with it, it's helping maintain the position and the width of that bead, which if you are ever mounting this on your own or in a tubeless situation, you'll know that not having the bead collapsed is a major factor in getting that bead to seat as you're adding air to it. So shout out to the folks at Motaz for going that one little extra step to make sure that we don't have struggles and challenges when we're trying to mount these brand new tires. So how does this tire stack up in all those categories I mentioned at the beginning? Performance, longevity, durability? Well, performance, as we talked about, and if you know anything about our average tour route, we are a company that's focused on putting people in a variety of situations that is perhaps the definition of adventure, right? And so this is the definition of an adventure tire being a tread pattern that is gonna work in so many different situations, whether you're on the pavement, gravel, dirt, mud, sand, whatever it is, it's a tire that's great for a lot of different situations. In terms of longevity, that of course is gonna be different and unique to each person. It depends on what bike you're on, who's riding it, how hot is the surface, how much engine's going into this thing. Whole bunch of factors are really gonna come down to whether it is holding up and lasting for you. I can tell you that the Tractionator GPS is holding up extremely well, definitely on the longer end of the range of mileage that we're getting out of other tires. And it is also keeping its profile, meaning it's keeping this natural curve that it starts with instead of flattening out like some other tread patterns on the market do. So in terms of longevity, I would say it's definitely up there, especially given its aggressive tread pattern and its multi-terrain use, quite impressive the mileage that we're getting out of it. Of course, though, again, every rider is gonna get a different total mileage out of these tires. And from the standpoint of durability, we have had no issues so far. You know, it's always a possibility of a sidewall puncture. We have had it happen on other tires. There's always the possibility of hitting just the right rock or piece of metal on the road, and you could get a slice, I would imagine, in any tire on the market. But we have not had anything that what seems to be a durability issue so far with these tires. One other feature I'll mention about this having sort of a stiff carcass to it, you know, we've noticed this on other tires like the Heidenau K60 Scout, where having such a stiff carcass is kind of a safety feature in that if you're aware of what's going on with your tire pressure, you should be able to feel that you've gone flat, but it's also nice to have a bit of rigidity to that sidewall. And actually I've seen riders riding not realizing that they'd taken a nail or whatever it was in the tire and they'd actually lost all the pressure, but because of that stiff carcass, that stiff sidewall, it can keep you from going dead flat really fast, which of course, if you've ever had that happen, when a front tire goes flat and it can sort of flop over to one side like that, that's a difficult thing to hang on to and keep a bike upright in that situation. So having that stiff carcass is something I actually like. 
And last but not least, I think it would be good to mention, I think it's a good looking tire too, right? You want this good looking pair of shoes on your nice, beautiful adventure bike. I think it's a great looking set of tires. So of course there's the topic of price and value. What are you actually getting when you buy a tire like this? We're going to do our best to keep current links in the description below so you can check pricing and actually do your motorcycle tire shopping right there. We've noticed and appreciate those of you who are using those links to do the motorcycle shopping you're going to do anyway. Doing so does go to support the channel and what we're doing here and make sure that we keep bringing you videos. So in terms of value, I will say that we are big fans of Motaz and the Tractionator GPS at this point. I think it is a great value tire. The longevity is there, the durability is there, and the performance as well, and all for a very market competitive price as you'll see in those links below. But please let us know in the comments below what kind of mileage or kilometers are you getting out of this tire? Again, everybody rides them differently. We all have different engines and throttle usage and temperatures and surfaces that we're riding on. What kind of mileage expectations should the other viewers be getting out of this tire? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notifications button so you see our future videos. Thanks for watching everyone. Ride on, we'll see you out there. We'll see your mom as well. Every time we pick her up for a date. She's a nice lady. <laughs> I'm sweating and tired.